Yo, what's up everybody? Today we are playing some ranked doubles battles in Pokemon Sword and Shield using my Zamazenta Zygarde team with the lagging tail trick Grimmsnarl. So it's going to be fun. I've got the, the team right here. Rental code is down at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description below with a pokey paste as well. Before we get to the battles, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. You know, tells me that People enjoy the content. And let's get to the battle, shall we? Slow Joe. Oh, God, this is an interesting team right here. So we've got Kyogre, Calyrex Ice Rider, Bufalant, Comfy, Amoongus, and Incineroar. Okay. Thunderous to me is actually rather interesting here. Um, Grimmsnarl is also interesting. It, the thing is, what are they going to start with? That's, that's my thing. What do they start with? Katana is interesting-ish. Um, I could actually, I'm comfortable starting Katana Grim. I feel like that's a pretty good start. Thunderous makes a lot of sense. Blastoise, in a way, makes a fair bit of sense as well. Um, Zygarde doesn't do well onto half of the team and the Incineroar can mitigate its damage. Zamazenta isn't the worst, isn't... Do I bring Zamazenta? I might. I'm a bit concerned about the Amoongus though. We'll bring Blastoise in. Let's go with no Restrictors and see how we go. Let's see how we go without bringing my Restrictors. So the reason why I wanted to go Grim Kartana is if I start with Kyogre, I have a good answer. If I start with Calyrex, I have a good answer. And I would rather have a good answer than not. Hmm, okay. So they could Flare Blitz from here. What are they going to do? Rage Powder? It's a possibility. Do I bring Thunderous out? To me that's actually rather interesting if I bring Thunderous out at the moment. I bring Thunderous and switch into Blastoise. Yeah, and yeah, we'll switch. We'll just do, do a double switch. Um, fake out is kind of scary. Spore is a little bit concerning. Flare Blitz is very concerning. So they could be going Spore into Grim, Flare Blitz into Blastoise. They're going Parting Shots. Okay. You know, that's not the end of the world. I'm pretty sure Amoongus can't learn Trick Room. It's just slow. You've got to pair it with a Trick Room mod. So I'm pretty... I'm all right about this play. Now, dealing with Calyrex. There's a spore. Beautiful. Could go rain dance. Just trying to figure out how on earth I deal with Calyrex now. So I could switch back into Grim. To me, that's rather interesting. Or Kartana. Ideally, I want to get Grim out. So let's go Grim. And I want to yawn the Calyrex. Because even if for some reason I don't succeed um, taking away whatever it is, weakness policy or the Berry Berry, at least I can put Calyrex to sleep. And that, that's my thing, I want to be able to put it to sleep. And the fact 
that oh, I'm not Dynamax thing tells them... Well, the fact that none of my mods have Dynamax tells them that none of them are Dynamaxing this turn. Max Hailstorm into the Grim Slots. Do we survive? We do! Oh, massive! <laughs> I knew that that's the play that they were going to make. Ah, oh, unnerve. Right. Okay. Uh, I could go reflex from here. I'm more interested in going trick onto the Calyrex. So we know that they have an Incineroar. And we know that they have an um, Amoongus and Calyrex. So who's their last? I would presume it'll be Kyogre. I would presume it'll be Kyogre. So I'm feeling pretty confident where, where I'm at right at the moment. Uh, I could uh, reflect. Light screen. Reflect. Light screen. Reflect. Light screen. Let's go reflect. It doesn't matter what Blast Toys does, it's guaranteed to be a sleepless turn. They go for the Rage Powder play. Okay. That's fine. And they really should have gone for the Rage Powder play last turn, I reckon. Yeah, in my opinion, I just get so much out of putting Calyrex to sleep. It's, it gets a chilly Nay boost. So be it. But now I sleep on their last turn of Dynamax. I could, f I could bring Thunderous out, I could bring Kartana out. To me, Kartana makes a lot more sense. There's a possibility that they switch Calyrex out here. Uh, they could also switch the Moongus out. So I'm fairly happy to go uh, Max Knuckle. And we can Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump? Yeah, we'll Hydro Pump the Moongus slot. They do switch the Amoongus out to, into Incineroar, yep. Beautiful. So I've got about a 30% chance that Blastoise wakes up here off by memory. But I'm dealing with the Intimidates immediately with a Max Knuckle. I'm trying to get my speed, my attack back up to where it should be. Blastoise is now at minus two attack, minus one special attack. So it's not exactly in the best spot, but so how I see it, its role is to um, disrupt now versus taking out. So we get the max knuckle. Interesting. What berry was that? I didn't do anywhere near as much as what I would have liked to have done, but it could have dealt a lot less. Copal Berry. Blastoise is still asleep. Annoying, not the end of the world. Calyrex is asleep. And I got my attack back up to where I want it being, and they only got two turns out of that Dynamax. So. Incineroar, and again we can Hydro Pump for Incineroar. Now we start boosting my attack. Woo, that damage, wow. Got a crit and everything. Beautiful. Plus one attack. Blast Hoist woke up. Yes, do we hit the Hydro Pump? We do! Bye bye, Ensign! See you later! Now, as long as Calyrex doesn't wake up, we are in a really good spot. It's fast asleep. Heck yes! 
So now I want to go hard into the Calyrex. So I want to go Max Steel Spike and I bring out the Amoongus. That's fine. Steel Spike. Oh, uh, you know what? Since I brought out Amoongus, let's go Blizzard. Yeah. Since they brought Amoongus out, let's go Blizzard. It's Baberry Berry. Awesome. So it's not weakness policy. Like, to how I see it, it's not the end of the world. A lot of damage. And there's my Blizzard. It would be really cool if that throws the Amoongus. Pollen Puff. Okay. But if they don't wake up, I take Calyrex out in the next turn. It's still asleep. Yes! <laughs> and the hail now stops. Because they can't r stop my Rage Powder. Well, they can't, oh, sorry. Their Rage Powder can't stop my Kartana. Okay, that's Smart Strike Kelly. Ah, uh, no, Blast Toys is faster than Kelly. Smart Strike, Kelly, and Flash Cannon into the Calyrex. Yep. They withdraw Moongus. Cool. Bufalant. Wow. Calyrex wakes up. Okay. That's not the end of the world. Imagine if I yawns the um, Amoongus slot. That would have been absolutely beautiful. I still need to deal with the Calyrex though. Yawn Bufalant? Yeah. Yeah. We'll yawn Bufalant. I think I get a lot out of that. They withdraw Cali. That's annoying. I probably should have seen that coming though. As long as Kartana survives this, we're in a pretty good spot. Ooh, look at that damage. I got another... That's Kartana's second crit. We all on Bufalant. We get the pressure going. High horsepower. Beautiful play by me. Okay, that's Sacred Sword. And let's try and get another Blizzard off. Do I? Or I could try Yawn. I've already got it drowsy. Let's try Yawn again, just in case they make a switch. Let's force them to want to make switches. Fact of the matter is, is I've got the faster Pokemon. And they haven't concerned themselves with Trick Room. Look at that play by me. What a raid. What a raid. <laughs> Sacred Sword. I could have done a bit more. But I get the yawn off. They use Spore. That's fine. That's fine. Now we smart strike. Then you know what? Let's go for another yawn. <laughs> if they switch Calyrex out, I might get Lumberry. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying this a little bit too much. Amoonga chooses protects. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Amoongus can do whatever the hell it wants to do. Cool. That Bufalant's now in a spot where I can just keep smart striking. Like, what are they going to do about it? And we'll Blizzard. 
Like, what are they going to do about it? Everything is in range for Katana to win. That's Katana's third critical hit this game. Holy crap. That's another beast boost. Do I get the blizzard off? I do! Oh, huge! <laughs> See, they sh if they had Trick Room at their disposal, they should have used Trick Room. That's just it. Calyrex Ice Rider works better under Trick Room. What on earth is it going to do from here? There's two things off the top of my head. One, protect. Two, faint. So, Smart Strike and Flash Cannon. From this position, I just win. Oh, option three, cancel the battle like you've lost. Them switching out Calyrex when Blastoise was asleep was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Anyway, Yevatel Incineroar, Zashian, Landorus T, Grimmsnarl, and Indeedy. I'm worried right about an Indeedy star, but they may not start with Indeedy. That's the thing, like, do they or do they not? Uh, this is a a nice Blastoise game. Blastoise actually does all rise into a lot of these. So I'm happy to go Blastoise. Blastoise Kartana to me is actually really, really interesting. I'd like to go Blastoise Thunderous. I'm concerned if I start with Ndidi. That's, that's my thing. If I start with Ndidi, what on earth do I do? So we'll go Blastoise, Kartana. Zygarde. And we'll put Thunderous in the back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I think I have room to make switches and whatnot. So I can't Thunder Wave Landorus. Um, I can't Thunder Wave under Psychic Terrain. I can't Thunder Wave Incineroar or Grimmsnarl. Not that I really want to. Ooh. This actually is not a bad start for me. They get the Intimidate off. But all in all, I'm actually fairly happy with the start. Um... Hydro Pump, Valandorous Slot. Do I Hydro Pump it? Do I? So in my head, there's a chance that they're going to switch out Landorus for Incineroar. They could also do the same thing with uh, Grim Snarl. And that's Steel Spike. Let's just go for the Steel Spike into the Grim. They aren't making any switches. Beautiful. That's the sort of thing I want to say. Uh, do I go ref I'll probably go Reflect here. I might be expecting a fake out. Blast always can carry uh, a fake out. So I just... I got enough like priority moves on the team, I reckon. Where Sure, the flinch is helpful. But I think I... Ooh. Led Dynamaxine Landorus. That's concerning. Do they have Max Flare? What if I have Max Flare? Ooh, what do I do against that? Oh shit! That could actually be helpful. There's actually a massive risk. 
Lumberry. Oh, what a massive play on their part. I almost took down the Grim. I have not seen a Swagger Grim before. That's epic. I go in Airstream. That's a big problem. Blastoise survives. Oh, huge. Hydro Pump. Whoa, that damage. If Blastoise got a crit, I would have taken it out. Easy. Easy. Hydro Pump. Yes. Airstream. <sighs> Who else do I have? Zygarde and Thunderous. Yeah, you know what? That's Airstream Lando. Scary face. Whoa. This Grim is epic. Max Quake. Who are you going into? Kartana. I actually might take out Landorus from here. Oh, I should actually. Huge. Actually, I took out Landorus. What have they achieved out of their Dynamax? Hold up. What did they achieve out of their Dynamax? Because now I Airstream Grim. I get my plus... I, Regain my lost attack. I'm starting to regain my speed that I've lost. And I'm also up in defense. What have they achieved? Uh, Insin uh, Zashian? That's what I'll be bringing in. I don't know what they've achieved. They haven't taken out any of my Pokemon. This is Ashian, okay, okay. Yevatel! Wow, cool. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get um, speed control via airstreams. So I need to forego uh, that train of thought. Um, I know that I don't have any more, like, can't have any more Lumberries because that was on the Landorus. Just want to say, that was a plus two Landorus. I couldn't take out Blastoise or Kartana with plus one defense. That's absolutely awesome. I got Zygarde and Thunderous in the back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to yawn the Evertel. And Steel Spike with Zashian. Yeah. Yep. I'm okay with that. They're, they're gonna be faster than me, so I just gotta do what I can do. That's fine. I don't know if Yubatel actually will take out Heat Up. Oh, no, it will. <laughs> with Heat Wave, it will. <laughs> okay. life orb as well. That's fine. So we bring out Zygarde and Thunderous. Uh, this first turn I want to go Thunder Wave into Zacian and protect Zygarde. I've, out of these... Yeah, Thunder Wave into Zacian and protect Zygarde. I feel like out of these two Pokemon... The Zygarde is the bigger threat over the Thunderous, because Thunderous is typically better outside of Dynamax, but this isn't a Defiant Thunderous, it's a Prankster Thunderous. Me going Protect tells me that they aren't. They feel fairly safe. I go in Sucker Punch, it fails. I go Thunder Wave. Beautiful. And they go Sacred Sword. Interesting, interesting. I'm actually okay with that. Now we go Thousand Arrows. And I want to Thunder into the Yeevatel. Because I've now got the faster Pokemon. That's just how I see it. I've got the faster Pokemon now. Well, 
I'm faster than Zacian, who to me is the bigger threat. They go Dark Pulse into Zygarde. Oh, that damage. That's scary. We use Thunder. If I can take Evertail down. Oh, awesome. A single target. Thousand arrows. If I'm not flinched. Yes. Whoa. Oh, look at that damage. Imagine if they were paralyzed. That would have been epic. Okay. Now it's just 1v1. Can I hit the 70% chance on the Thunder? Ideally, I would like to have had Rain Dance out. I do. Heck yes. Um, but in hindsight, if they don't get paralyzed, there's a good chance that Thunderous gets taken down. So I'm better off taking that 70% chance of hitting the target over spending a whole turn to guarantee the next hit. That's just how I see it. Well, awesome. Those two battles went absolutely perfectly. Like, honest to God, perfectly. What more could I want out of, out of them in general, right? But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. That way you stay up to date when I upload more videos. Do ch check out some of my other content. It'll be absolutely awesome of you. Again, rental code is down in the description below along with a pokey paste. Also, I do have a question of the day in the description below. Check it out, okay? Do go check it out and give me your answer in the comment section. See ya.